Hello, hello everybody, it's me, Cooper, and as I left off from last episode, Tadagatsu has decided to attack us, and I have decided to accept the challenge. The reason I feel like I could do this is because I have three healers on my team. I understand that his team, he brought his best army possible. Literally the strongest forces he has. I'm on the defensive now. You guys never get to see this, but look at this, I'm on the defensive. Alright, you two in that corner is not a good start for me, but we'll live with it. Kunoichi's going to open the gates. At least I get to use the rocks on them, even though it's not going to do much to these Pokemon. Ina's on her way. I need Sceptile for Ina. Steelix is on his way. Another rock type on the way. Yep, yep, yep. I was expecting most of this. Um, I'm going to have Oichi just deal with the rocks immediately. Let's just get these out of the way. Yeah. Boom, baby. 12 damage, 12 damage. Yeah, all of the rocks are going to do not a very effective damage. He brought everybody that resists a freaking rock type attack. Alright, you're going to be left open for an attack. Like I said, we're going to be left open for an attack. Every one of his Pokemon resists this, so you're just going to have to do it. Alright, 2 damage on that guy is alright. He's got a lot of HP though, so we're going to have to deal with that. I'm going to end my turn right there. Let's see what they decide to do. They're going after Cub Chew. I can live with that. That's actually a lot of damage. <laughs> That's not even your main Pokemon, and that was a lot of damage. Sceptile just needs to be ready to fight the freaking... Yeah, the freaking Quagsire. Quagsire is your only real target, Sceptile. Everything else is just gravy. Hey, I got my lullaby to kick in, so I can just leave that guy. I'm probably going to yell at him. Yeah, I'm probably going to yell at him. Alright, here we go. You guys keep working together on the pawn yards. There we go. I know I'm lowering my attack, but honestly, we could still kill her. We could still kill Eno with a lowered attack stat. It's still a five-star move. Alright, now we need to hit you. You're the biggest target here, and you'll kill my Cub Chew, so I have to do this. There we go. That's really good damage. I'm not moving Cub Chew, because Cub Chew moves and Cub Chew dies. Unless this Pawn Yard moves. If this Pawn Yard moves, then Cub Chew dies. It can't move because it's frozen! That was the perfect situation. Yep, now that it's stuck there, it's actually body blocking for me instead of against me. And yes, Steelix cannot reach my Cub Chew. And will not be able to until next turn. Alright, she's beginning the healing process, which um, probably will work. Oh, no, it won't. Oh, no, it won't. I believe I killed most of the people down here. I'm glad I decided to defend. Look at this. It's like, but Cooper, look, Kunoichi survived. Now she's going to heal every turn. Guys, don't you remember? Leaf Storm hits every area. Look at this. And even though I weakened it, we could still do a lot to Eno with it. They attacked the wrong army. Tadagatsu, you attacked the wrong goddamn army. And I don't really want to lose Cub Chew. If I could get through this fight without losing every anybody, it would be a huge insult to my opponent. Beautiful. Alright, Cub Chew, heal yourself and get your defense stat up because that Steelix is coming for you. You're going to need full HP for this next attack. Unless you can freeze it, but let's just assume you're not going to. Alright, yep, here comes Steelix. Oh, you got cured? That's not good. People never get cured from frozen. I can't believe that ha or from freezing. I can't believe that happened. Well, at least I increased my defense stat ahead of time, and I have that heal. So let's see how much. With the defense increase, it only did six damage. I still have a hundred health left. Yep, this was expected. How much? Mm, with a crit, we'd be dead. And if I didn't increase my defense, that probably would have killed me with both their attacks. All right. Oh, my accuracy dropped because of shackle, I guess. Oh no, Shackle doesn't lower accuracy. I don't know how you drop my accuracy. So I'm going to use Crack Shot to guarantee that this next move hits. Sorry, Ina. I just happen to have a Grass type on my team. You attack the wrong freaking army. And all that's left is a little... Well, actually, you still have that guy too, but... All you have left is this little Steelix that I need to kill. Yeah, there we go. 
And Cub Chew, you could do the honors since you managed to survive against Steelix. All that's left is a baby Ponyard. I can't believe how well Cub Chew's doing, honestly. Like, literally, this Cub Chew has carried us in some fights. Dratini's carried us in every fight, but still. You did it, guys! You defended Cragspur. It looked pretty bad stats-wise and Pokemon-wise, but I don't know where that 25% came from from last episode. This is perfect. Literally perfect. That Steelix was the only real threat. And Ina, if she had gone a different route, but since she went the wrong route... What? What's happening, Dratini? <gasps> We're evolving, so now it's going to be way harder to kill Tadagatsu because I evolved. I should not have evolved. <laughs> we got a Dragonair, everybody. The good news is we have a Dragonair. The bad news is I can't hit Steelix anymore with anything. So now I got to find out how to beat... I got to take him out now. I got to take Tadagatsu out. Because he's defending Terrera, which is a map that's all about the flags. So, yeah. Okuni is going to appear in... Okay, get rid of Munashige this time. You can do it. Holy shit, Okuni's really struggling now. Well, it's okay, Okuni. I'm going to take out Tadagatsu, and then I'm going to help you guys with Munashige. I don't like the guy either. He's been a thorn in all of our sides. Tadagatsu, your army is great, but mine is smart. It's cool that we have a Dragonair now. It's actually one of the more beautiful Dragon types out there. It's really cool, majestic looking. You know, you gotta love it. But, uh, it's gonna evolve into a nice big friend. Alright, Tadagatsu, let's see what you got. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know how I feel about this just yet. Gothita, you're going to be the one that goes off by themselves. Um, go ahead and destroy this tree for us. You're the one that's going to take the side flag. And that's literally, you're going to be alone. You can't, you're not going to get any backup, so do your best. Uh-huh. Cub Chew, move forward. Dragonair, move forward. Okay, it gets Dragon Tail. That could be good. It's a level 3 move. Uh-huh. It's not the best move in the world, but it's not bad for a middle form. And there we go. I feel like my team's all set up now. This is not a map about beating the opponent by battle, which is the only reason why I accepted this challenge. Or, well, I, I, I decided to challenge him here. It would not have been a good idea to challenge him otherwise. He knows right in front of me. Good. I don't have any way to speed up my Pokemon, though, so it's going to be hard to get to that freaking flag. Dragonair barely will reach it, honestly. So I just got to hope they don't get in the way of Dragonair. Get that tree out of the way. And then we're going to have Wigglytuff get these trees out of the way. There we go. Yeah, these trees are bothersome. Keep that Jigglypuff charm. And then Gothita's ready. Yeah, more trees out of the way. Gothita's just ready. Get that potion. Kadabra, you're also ready. And you got Rally, so you're, you're really ready. Cub Chew, you're really ready. Sceptile, you're ready. Alright, Dragonair's the only one that can reach that far platform. So as long as Ina doesn't hit him. Because if Ina hits uh, Dragonair with her Shackling move, we're screwed. I just gotta hope that doesn't happen. Alright, Ponyard's right there. Charmander's the one that's gonna capture the flag and do a little damage to me. Come on, Ina, go after my Cub Chew. Leave my Dragonair alone. Leave my Dragonair alone. Steelix. Konoichi went to a weird position. Oh, yeah, she's guaranteed to hit this move, so let's see. Okay, she chose Wigglytuff, but she's body blocking the thing. Luckily, I have Sceptile, but we have to kill Ina. There's no, cho there's no choice now. If Ina doesn't die, we can't capture that flag. So I have to kill Ina. Okay. Dragonair, your only job is to capture this flag. Don't worry about anything else. You can cut that tree down if you want, but this is your only job. Capture the flag. Same thing with Gothita. After that, we have to think about the battle. Gothita, just go capture the flag. I have Sceptile, so getting Ina off the flag shouldn't be too bad. 
Cub Chew's gonna have to take a hit, though, so let me increase my defense. Instead of using this for the heal, we're just gonna increase defense with it. Make sure this hits. Don't miss this one. Alright. Oh, it does way more damage now. I guess since I hit... Oh, I hit 40%, so I'm at a plus 2 Leaf Storm now. So now Leaf Storm just one-shots her, guaranteed. Such strength. I still have far to go. You are very strong, Ian. I do not ever doubt yourself. Literally, you're probably one of the strongest people in this entire game. Uh, we're gonna have... Kadabra capture the flag since he can't really hit most of the enemies. Kanetsugu will be the one to end this war. Cub Chew, you're gonna do a little bit of powder snow on that thing? Yeah. And then Wigglytuff's job is just to body block this, the elevator. The battle's over, guys. We won. I got lucky. She didn't shackle down my uh, Dragonair. That's the only reason we won right now. Okay, Ember's gonna suck, but Sceptile can take it. Tadagatsu is one of the strongest people in this war. If he's not the strong, if not the strongest. So taking him out by flags feels pretty rude. But he's the one who decided to take over Terrera. Alright. That's, uh, that was his mistake. Kanetsugu, go ahead. I guess we can kill one more guy just for funsies. Yeah, why not? Let's just kill some... Kill some more soldiers just for fun. <laughs> Plus, it'll get my links up, and I guess that matters since my links aren't as high as they could be. Wigglytuff, hit your friend to kill those other ones. Oh, I didn't. That Charmander just survived no matter what, huh? Oh, don't worry about Blaze. I'm gonna finish you off with Cub Chew. I don't care if you're a fire type, this should work. I'm going to freeze that flame on your tail. I'm sure nothing bad will happen. And we got Sasuke, the ninja Sasuke, to join us. That's funny. Dragonair, end this battle. Oh, sorry. Gothita, end this battle. And Tadagatsu is done for, everybody. Everyone's going to get some good link from that. 50%. Let's see. 40% for Wigglytuff. 45% for Gothita. 43, 48, and another 50. Beautiful. We even got Ina to join us, and we know she's way too broken. Like, literally, she breaks the game with how strong she is. That Empoleon, insane. Charmeleon's pretty good. Ponyard's pretty good. Just go keep them in a the corner. If we need them, we can use them, but right now, we're just going to keep them in a the corner. That's a corner of the map I want to use them in. I guess Avia. Yeah, go, go chill in Avia with your Empoleon and your Charmeleon and your Ponyard. Well, we took Terraria, everybody, but what is happening? Oh, we're going to get Cub Chew to evolve. Hey, Cub Chew's evolving into a Pokemon that can actually do damage. There we go, everybody. Baratic. Yep. Ba Baratic has, is here, everybody. Well done. I'm so proud. It's at 305 power. It's the strongest Pokemon on our team right now. Oh, wow, that roar. Yeah, Bear Tick is literally the strongest Pokemon on our team. That's great. We got a Bear Tick before we got Gothita to evolve. That's crazy. I'm not even complaining. I'm just surprised. All right. We can sleep well knowing Tadagatsu is no longer a threat to us. So, what are you guys going to... Oh, Hanbei. Wow, Kanetsuga's armor's got sure got big. Big enough to stamp out... Hanbei. I was your friend. I just took out Tadagatsu for you guys. Munishige, I was never your friend. You can leave. <laughs> it's like, I don't like you. You can leave. Okuni, come on. I was never rude to you. Alright, those are the last three armies, but they all own quite a, a bit of land each. Oh boy. Akuni has decided to try and take me on. I actually could win this fight, but Ina has been in way too many battles, so it's her time to, to rest. E I can't believe my enemies are doing this to me. Akuni, I didn't want to take you out. You were never, you were never a problem, you know? I always respected you as a warrior. Munishige was the guy who I was planning on taking out, but now... 
I guess plans have to change. I need Illusio. I need to take Illusio while it's weak. And then I need to defend Illusio with my life so I never have to take it again. So who could take Illusio? I need at least three people. And even then it'd be difficult to take it. Illusio's a, Illusio is a bitch to take. So we're going to send Wigglytuff, Gothita, Sceptile. One more. Who's going to lead the army? Is it going to be Aya or Rimaru? I kind of want Aya with me, honestly. I kind of want both of them with me, but I can't have both. I'm going to send Dragonair to take Illusio. Illusio is too important. Once Illusio is taken, we never want to lose it again because it's one of the worst maps to fight on. It's like Valora. Illusio and Valora are the worst maps to fight on. So I'm like, I whenever I take them, I never let them be taken again. All right, let's see. Interesting. All right, Gothita's not going to get much work done here, so we're going to have Gothita just immediately take this flag. Blue takes us where? Blue takes us over there. That's fine. We're going to have Wigglytuff teleport for us. Now, we have no Levitators or anything on our team, so that's going to be a big weakness in Illusio. And we're just going to take this flag for now. That map, that's one of the hardest areas to take is up there. Just because I can't ever get to there. Where's green taking you? Oh, you got a decision to make. You're either coming to fight me or you're going to die. Now that ghost type I need to kill because Oichi can't even hit it. Alright, this is what we're going to do. I'm going to stand right here. So that I don't teleport. Yeah, exactly. I'm going to have Gothita get some damage on the spo Okay, that's not how that works. Gothita's gonna move off the flag. Oichi's gonna stand here just in case the teleport changes. Oh, I guess we- Oh, yeah, back here no matter what you teleport. And then we're gonna have Dragonair just kill off the Ghastly. Now, we have not fought Okuni's army yet, but I'm 100% sure it's weaker than Tadagatsu's since she's been struggling against Munushige. Oh, it's crazy to think that Tadagatsu's army's gone. He was a big uh, competitor in this war. And I took him out with flags. Ah, oh, you're going to go defend like a coward. You coward. Alright, let's see. It's a green teleporter. Green takes us over there. Okay, good. Septile will be sent to do this. Alright, good. And Septile is enough to do it by himself. Blue takes us over there. So I'm going to go over here to try and take the flag. And I'm going to assume by trying to take this flag... That my base flag is going to get taken. So I'm going to... It's going to take a few turns to get over there. But I'm going to send Oichi back over there. I should have just left her there. But I, I forgot she could still teleport. Alright. Intimidate me, will ya? That spiel can do super effective damage. But as long as it doesn't freeze me, we're cool. Ugh, it didn't even hit me. That's, that's a shame. Now this Mud Slap would lower my accuracy. Which is like... Oh no, my accuracy... But my ability is crack shot, so I don't care. And those guys, that Gothita's dead, unless this puts me to sleep. Oh, thank God. I got a little worried there. I was like, oh no, don't put me to sleep. Okay, that flag's gone. Could not stop that from happening. Oichi will go over there to finish it off later, but that map's go that flag's gone. Alright, do 60 damage. Damn, if only I left Oichi over there, or sent her over there earlier. This would have been a non-issue. Alright. Just defend there, Gothita. I know Sphiel's gonna go on that flag immediately. Oh wow, even with the accuracy drop, my speed is so high that it did not matter. I know Sphiel's gonna take the flag immediately, but I'll just kill it next. And like I said, I'll just wait on Oichi. She's gonna have to kill the enemy that takes the flag, which... She's not very good at killing the enemy, so this is probably gonna be a problem, but... I'm sure we'll be able to do it. Alright, you take that flag. Unless Gothita can come and help, that'd be nice. Holy shit, I think that's exactly what happened. That was the perfect... Oh, that was the perfect teleporter. And we're gonna do it again. One more Leaf Storm to end them all. 
Oh, <laughs> I was sad. It's like, oh. All right, there we go. I want you over here. No, I want you over here. You're not going to be able to hit that Muna just yet, but you will. Oh, no, never mind. You. Oh, I should have just, oh, I could have captured the flag this turn. Well, whatever. It doesn't matter. Coulda, shoulda, didn't do it. Amaro's right, good. You're good. I'll capture the flag right now. It took an extra turn. Oh, no. But my team ends this at full health, so that's fine. Yeah, Okuni is not a threat. I like Okuni as much as the next guy. She's a nice, la nice lady. She was great when she was working in my army, but... Right now, her forces are not the best, so... What are you gonna do? There we go. Illusio is mine. Now my job is to protect Illusio for goddamn life. Because I do not want Illusio to be taken. That's not an area I like retaking. I also need to destroy Okuni's army over here. Because I do not want to have to try and... Oh, wait. Do you have a dark type? You don't? Okay, good. Because I do not want to have to try and take uh, Valora again. That place is also awful. Now, I'm not wiping out Akuni. Just because she destroyed one of my... Pla I mean, took one of my places. I'm not wiping her out. I'm just doing some damage, you know? I'm just taking out two of her three territories. So now she's only going to have one left. But that's her fault. Because she took my territory. If she had gone for, like, Munashige's territory, I would have left her... Oh, I guess she tried and lost. Everyone that tries and loses and then comes after me makes the biggest mistake. But Cooper, your strength level is way lower. Shut up. It's fine. She always starts in a bad spot. I swear, I uh, you need to start closer. Alright, let's see here. Oh, Bear Tick has one weakness. It can only move two spaces. But it has a four-star move in Icicle Crash. That's really good. At least we have a four-star attack. That's nice. Going from Powder Snow to Icicle Crash is very cool. She brought a flying type and a levitator, so I'm gonna have to go up there. Kai, I remember when you used to be a threat and then Akuni took you out. Which was impressive. I didn't think Akuni would be able to do it, but she did it. Alright, they're coming over here, but my bear is not gonna be going in that direction. It's just gonna take my bear some time to get over here. Uh, funny enough, I'm actually gonna hit the Beedrill first, because not only can it poison me, but it does super effective damage to me. In Gen 1, Beedrill was actually able to stop Kadabra in some cases. There we go. With its twin... It was the only one with a good bug move, Twin Needle. Alright, so yeah, you realized I killed your friend, so now you gotta fall back. Okay, you got Bustle, but where are you going with your Bustle? See, you're going the wrong way. I'll be up there in a second. You just gotta wait. Why did you do that? Kai, you could have done like 10 times the damage if you had done something else. And the Street is just going to sit right there. Spiel at least is trying to come and help. That's nice. Alright, Bear Tick. It's going to take you forever to do a damn thing because of your two movement, but just come and join the crew. At least that will convince the Zubat to go back to its other position. Oh, if I do this, I hit Bear Tick. Oh, wow. Bear Tick's tanky. Go for it. Kai's tanky too. Kai took the hit. Oh, no, she didn't. Oh, yeah, she did. She took the hit like a champ. And her melee does a lot of damage. But Baratick took the hit, so I was like, yeah, go ahead, Baratick. Now, she should move one space back. Yep. This actually works out for me, so it's fine. Flame Burst is going to hurt, but it's fine. That Your melee almost did as much as your Flame Burst. Mmm. You're sending Spiel to fight Baratick. That's smart. Oh, wow. More damage from melee. Smart plays. Kaya is a good leader. Ah, oh, she's body blocking my Baratick. That's a dick move. That is a dick move. I can't even stop her. That means my Baratick's all alone with a fire type now. And an ice type that I can't even hurt. And it's part water, so it's four times resistant. Aren't you just a jerk? Alright, I'm gonna rally up. I'm not even afraid of your freaking simi whatever. I'm just going to go ahead and kill your Mistrevis since that thing can actually hurt me. There we go. Exactly 80 damage. Without the rally, I would not have been able to kill it, most likely. Alright, we need to hit that freaking, um... Well, actually, let me heal. I know Compassion can heal a lot more than this, but just in case, I want the defense buff. 
Uh, we're gonna go ahead and hit that guy. Let's see how much Ice Skull Crash. 47! Nice! Okay, Ice Skull Crash is nice. Alright, that Zubat is still coming after my ass. God damn. Leave me alone, why don't you? This was expected. You're dead. Alright, you're going back up to fight my guy. That's fine. You are deciding to die. I resist ice, so we're cool. So now I can finally get my bear tick up here to help out my uh, my dude. So bear tick, kill that freaking Zubat. Oh my god, 433 damage. Icicle crash! Beautiful. 433 damage. And now, Kadabra, you kill off this guy. This guy. Yeah, this one's the bigger threat. We just gotta wait for the spiel. When the spiel gets up here, we'll kill it. Kai was a good leader, but the power difference was too great. She may have started with a higher power, a higher strength level, but that's only because she had a lot of Pokemon. It made no real difference in the fight. All right, I understand Baratit can barely do anything to spiel, so Baratit's gonna take out the little Litwick. That'll be for the best. I love the way the Icicle Crash sounds. Do 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 do. It's, it's good. All right, let's see. Oh, you're you're dead. I'm just gonna stand on the item and kill you. Yep. Goodbye, Spiel. You withdraw. I gain 170 gold, and I win the battle. So I gain more gold, and link up. And since that was like a 2v5, we're getting good link. Yeah, we're both in the 50s now. 55 and 52. And now Akuni just has her strongest soldiers, so we can see what her overall power level is since she's only going to have her six best soldiers. One of them is Kai. Kai's at around 30%, which is no threat to us. If she was evolved, maybe I would say she was a threat, but she's not evolved. Her melee does decent damage, though. Let's see. At 800, that's not very good, Kai. Uh, Akuni, that's not very good. I, feel, I have a feeling you're going to get wiped out. It won't even have to be me, to be honest. You're just gonna get wiped out. Alright, Ina, why don't you just develop? Go ahead. Your character's too strong. I can't keep using you in every story mode. Just because I happen to get you. But I won't kick you out of my army. You could always do stuff. And Munashige took the free castle. I'm surprised it wasn't a Kuni. I left it alone on uh, uh, just to see. Excuse me, Lord. Uh, someone has come to ask for a favor. Another favor, huh? Ah, you want all my money? All right. I gave my I gave my farmers all my money. I'm a nice guy. Sometimes. I got to think about taking out Akuni, and I need to finish off Munashige. He's gonna be a lot harder. But I'm gonna do that next episode, guys. I want to thank you all for watching. Next episode, we're thinking about taking out Akuni. I know it's a sad thing to say out loud, but it has to happen. And then we're going to move on to Munishige. Bye-bye.